10 more minutes on this show. You can go back and listen to the archives of this show. But we're asking you right now to please share this. Share it. On your timelines. And ask to join our group page. It's called The Bible Show Truth Hour. The Bible Show Truth Hour. That's our group page. Look up there and hit the subscribe button, brothers and sisters. We come to you every Tuesday at 7 o'clock, brothers and sisters, with a lesson out of this book called The Bible that you can follow yourself with your own Bible uh -huh. where you can write down these scriptures for yourself so you can begin to become educated on the Word of God. Let's close out, Brother Julie. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28 chapter. You see, Black Ice, how do you find us? In, in, you're not going to see us in the history book, so you got to find us in our book, which is the Word of God. The whole Bible is about the nation of Israel and other nations as they come in contact with Israel, sisters and brothers. Let's stop getting angry and let's get wise. Stop being led by your emotions and be led by the word of God, which is your history and other nations' history. The Lord wants all nations to be blessed, but they come through you, sisters and brothers. Deuteronomy 28. Back to Deuteronomy 28 chapter. And I want to hit some highlights and then we're going to give you some We hope. ended at 25, I believe. We brother. ended at 25. Yes, Deuteronomy sir. 25, where we at now? Deuteronomy 28. All this history, let's and you go, go, and you hit none of it in church. Let's, uh, you want to close out with 64 through 68 of this chapter? Uh, I want to close out, uh, picking it back up at verse 36, Black Ice. Deuteronomy 28 and 36. Uh, 28 and verse 29. 28 and 29. Because we don't march, Black Ice. We don't protest it. We don't set up on, we don't slip on rules. We don't slip on signboards. Like that's going to help us. People have came and tried to deliver us. It ain't happened. You done ran for president. It's not going to happen. That's right, it's not going to happen, sisters and brothers. Because the Lord, this is from the Lord. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28. And 27. And 27. And it reads. Uh-huh. The Lord will smite thee with the botch of Egypt. Uh -huh. And with the emeralds. Uh-huh. And with the scab. Uh -huh. And with the itch. Uh -huh. Whereof thou cannot um, All that healed. high blood pressure. All that rheumatism. All that gout. All oh, this is from the Lord. Come on, Ice. Verse 28. Yeah. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. We always mad. John Kennedy got assassinated. We burned down our neighborhood. His brother, Robert Kennedy, got assassinated. We burned down our neighborhood. Martin Luther, uh, 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 Martin Luther King got assassinated. We burned down our neighborhood. Trayvon Martin got beat. We burned down our neighborhood. Rodney King. Rodney King got beat. We, got, we burned down our neighborhood. This guy in St. Louis got killed. We burnt down our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Always mad, always angry, and you can't do nothing about it because it's from the Lord. I dare you to research it. The only people that go through this in every state, in every place in the world. Come on, Ice. Well, you want to pick it up? Pick 29? it up at verse 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday, uh -huh. and the blind gropeth in darkness. As the blind grope in darkness, looking for a way out. Come on, Ice. And thou shalt not prosper in thy way. Uh -huh. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, uh -huh. and no man shall save you. Ain't nobody. You thought the hell Washington going to deliver you. It didn't happen. You think Jesse Jackson can deliver you. Not going to happen, sisters and brothers. Not going to happen. The Lord said, I'm going to come back and get you. Now, we're talking roots, Black Ice. What about the slave trade? And what happened at the, slave, at the auctioning block? Skip down to verse 30. And look at this right here, verse 30. And 20, look at this. Verse 20, Deuteronomy 28 and 30. Go ahead. And it reads, Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. You were sold as male and female slave, bought over here and auctioned on the auction block, and master slept with, the, with your wife, or slept with the woman before you had her. Come on, Ice. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Verse 32, Ice. 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Remember Kizzy? Remember Ruth Black Ice? Yes, sir. She watched, uh, her parents watched her get sold and couldn't do nothing about it. Look at your history that they're trying to show you and you won't hear. Come on, Ice. Deuteronomy 28 and 32. Thy yes. sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Uh -huh. And thine eyes shall look. And fail with longing for them all, uh, all the day long. And there shall be no might in thy hand. You can't do nothing about it. 37, Ice. 37. Deuteronomy 28 and 37. Yeah. And thou shalt become an astonishment. An astonishment. A proverb. A proverb. And a byword. You know all those little pet names they give you? Like uh, black, like colored, like porch monkey, like cool. the N-word. 
Mm -hmm. All these names that they describe you, everything but children of God. Come on, Ice. One moment we was colored. <laughs> Another moment we was black. Another moment we were African American. Uh -huh. The only people why our name changed seemed like every 25 years. Black, colored, African, Afro American, African American. Come on, Ice. Verse 38. Wow. Thou shalt. Skip down. Skip down. Wanna... Skip down to verse 41. Here we go. Verse this is where we at now. It done trickled down to our time. Come on, Ice. Deuteronomy 28 and 41. Yes. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, uh -huh. but thou shalt not enjoy them, uh -huh. for they shall go into captivity. Who got what? Who bringing the heroin into our neighborhood? Mm. Who bringing the drugs and the guns into our neighborhood? And we use them on each other. You don't manufacture no weapons. Wow. You don't manufacture no drugs, but yet it's in your community. Wow. 43. 43, Jesus. Ice. You explain this to him, Ice. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, uh -huh. and thou shalt come down very low. Explain the stranger, Black Ice. Brothers and sisters, in most black neighborhoods today, who is cutting the grass? The Mexican. Who is selling you your gas at your gas station? The Arab. Or the Pakistani. When you go to Dunkin' Donuts, brothers and sisters, in your community, who's selling you your donuts? The Indians. When you go and get what's called Chinese food, brothers and sisters, you go into the store by, that's owned by the Chinese. Chinese. But you can't go into Chinatown and open a black barbecue restaurant or any restaurant in Chinatown, but they can come into your neighborhood and open up something in your neighborhood. Matter of fact, black guys, we spend more money on okay. hair and hair products than any other nation in the world. Ice, but you got to go to the Korean to get your wigs. Who's doing your nails in your neighborhood, brothers and sisters? They've opened up nail shops in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You reading your now history. the Koreans is doing your nails. This is your history. So, what about financially, Ice? You got to go to a bank to get a loan. We did that for the... We did that for... Uh, uh, and we're not the ones loaning each other money, brothers and sisters. Uh-huh. So... Read 44, Ice. 44, real quick. L l let me uh, just go over 43 real quick. Yeah. Uh, again, the stranger that is within thee shall get up. Above the very high, very high, and thou shalt come down very low. You are bottom. sending every other nation's children to college while we struggle to pay for college for our own children. But the Brinks truck leave out of our neighborhood, but not carrying. They carrying our money, the but black, not our business. The black dollar circulates in the black community for six hours, brothers and sisters. Go ahead, black guys. Forty-four. Yes, he shall lend to thee. And thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and you shall be the tail. What else the Lord going to do to us? I, you think that's enough? Watch this one. 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon you, and shall pursue you and overtake you, uh -huh. till thou be destroyed. Why? Why this happen to us? I because you hearkens not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded you. One more verse. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. For what? And for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. What do a sign do, Ice? It points you in the right direction or indicates it something. Brother. Identifies a particular people. All the way down to 64, Black Ice. Verse 64. And Verse the, no, no, 63. Because we want to show the people this is not from the white man. This is not from nobody else. This is not from the devil. This is from who, Black Ice? It's from the Lord, brothers and Read sisters. Read it to him. He is the one that put death on a table as a reward for sin. He told Adam, the day that you shall eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall, you surely, shall surely die. die. God created death as a punishment for sin. 63. Right? And he created evil, brothers and sisters, also a reward, uh, and, and a, uh, a, a reward for disobedience. Wow. Deuteronomy 28 and 63. Yes. And it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoice over you to do you good. He promised you he would bless you if you kept his commandments. And to multiply you. Yes. So the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you. Uh -huh. And to bring you to naught. Go ahead. And you shall be plucked from off the land where thou goest to possess it. The Lord said I'm, he going to pluck you. He going to let another people take you. Come on, Ice. Verse 64. Who going to do it to us? And the Lord shall scatter you among all people, from the one end of the earth, uh -huh. even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, wow. which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood or stone. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob knew nothing about Christmas. They didn't know nothing about what they call Easter black ice. 
And they sure wasn't having no crosses, brothers and sisters. They didn't have no as images of no cross of their religion or their God. And what are these crosses made out of? Wood, Wood and, and stone. stone, brothers and sisters. You and everybody's religion, and the Lord warned you about that. Finish it, Ice. Sixty-five. Yep. And among these nations shall thou find no ease, uh -huh. neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart trembling and heart. trembling of eyes. You're scared of the gunshots. And a sorrow of mind. You're scared of everything. They, you know, took the gunshot from the, the shootings all the way from the, from, the, from the streets to the expressway. Hmm. Let's, now, let's look at what we got to do, Black Ice. Well, we got, told you. well we got to close this out in verse uh, 68, Brother yep. Julie. In verse Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Yep. This is your roots, brothers and sisters. Your roots. This is your transatlantic slave trade, brothers and sisters. Uh -huh. And this is the history of the people who today are called African American. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt means captivity house of bondage. or the house of bondage to us. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships? With ships. What was the name of the first ship that came over here, Ice? The first slave ship that landed on the shores of Africa for the transatlantic slave trade in 1555 was called Jesus, brothers and sisters. Oh, oh. Captain by one Sir John Hawkins. The British. Wow. The Portuguese. And the Lord wow. shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spoke unto thee. Uh -huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. You ain't going back to Egypt no more. Come on, Ice. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Oh, we call it employees today. That, that's the politically correct word. But we finna give you some hope, black guys. Let's give the people some hope. We got last place. We got to close 30. out. Follow us to this last place, Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter. Deuteronomy, the 30th sisters. chapter. Remember, this is only for the appointed time. Thank God. The captivity is almost over. That's what the Lord tells us, black guys, that he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. De Deuteronomy 30 and 1. Come on, Ice. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon you, the blessings and the curse, uh -huh. which I have set the before Lord you. The Lord said it, yeah. And thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether the Lord thy God have driven thee. This is why we're preaching this gospel. Amen. All of this is part of the gospel. It is African, or what you call Israel, history. Come mm -hmm. on, Ice. And shall return unto the Lord thy God. and Return. Shall and shall return unto the Lord thy God, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. Yes. Thou and thy children. Oh, so that means our, we got to teach our children. We got to wake up. Remember that song, wake up everybody. No more sleeping in bed. No more sleeping. Wake up and come out of this spiritual death. Turn back to the Lord God of Israel. Come on, Ice. With all thine heart and yes. with all thy soul. That's your mind, that, yes. That then... The Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. And do what? And have compassion on you. And will what? And I will return and gather you from all the nations where the, the Lord thy God has scattered you. What if we, what if we, uh, what if we in another country scatter? What are you going to do there, Ice? Read it. If any of thine be driven out unto the uttermost parts of heaven. That's the earth. Go ahead. From thence will the Lord thy God gather you. Uh-huh. And from this will he fetch you. And what are you going to do, Ice? And the Lord thy God will bring you into the land which thy fathers possessed. The land of Israel. And thou shalt possess it. Uh -huh. And he will do thee good uh -huh. and multiply thee above thy fathers. Come on, Ice. One more. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart. He going to teach you his word. You ain't going to understand. That's that mind, that mindset that you've been traditionally serving God with. He going to get rid of all that stuff out your mind and he going to put his word in your mind. Come on, Ice. And the heart of your children. Yes. To love the Lord thy God yes. with all thine heart come on, and bro. with all thy soul uh -huh. that thou mayest live. Come on, Ice. Come on. And come the on. Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies. Oh, so it's not up to you. Revenge ain't yours. Revenge is the Lord's, Ice. Stop getting mad at the white man and the Arab and let the Lord deal with them at the appointed time. Come on, Ice. Then... He is going to give you your 40 acres in the mule. He going to give you your reparations. Because in, in this, right here where we are not, you ain't getting it. Come on, right. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart. Uh-huh. And the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy God with all thine heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. And the Lord thy God will put these curses upon thine enemies. Yes. And on them that hate you. Uh-huh. Which persecute you. And one more. And thou shalt return. And obey the voice of the Lord uh -huh. and do all his commandments which I command thee 
this day. So if we had listened that day, we wouldn't go, we wouldn't be going through all this drama. Sisters and brothers, the Lord is gonna turn this captivity, but we got to educate our people through his word, and we got to serve him, not halfway, but fully, sisters and brothers. Then we won't be talking about all this drama we going through no more. Brothers and sisters, there's, us a, up, brother. there's an old saying. And that old saying is, you got to learn the hard way. <laughs> oh. Or, brothers and sisters, you got to take the long way around, brothers and sisters. Mm. All the things that God has promised us. And is promising us, brothers and sisters, if we would turn from our wicked ways and seek his face. All the things that he's promising that he would give us, we could have got it in the beginning, brothers and sisters. Yes. But because of our hard head and our stiff neck and our hard heart, brothers and sisters. Wow. The Lord took us all the way around the long way, brothers and sisters. He said, if you don't want my blessings... I'm going to give you my curses, brothers and sisters. So therefore, in 70 AD, he allowed the Roman army to come into Jerusalem. The finger of the Lord. And to kill those who were there and to allow some of us to escape. He allowed us to enter into the nations of Africa, brothers and sisters, as we fled the persecution of the Roman army in 70 AD into the nations of Africa because we were black, we blended in. But the people of the nations of Africa knew that we didn't belong to them, brothers and sisters. Just like they know now. So when we migrated to the northwest corner of Africa, I say take it. Where the first slave ships landed on the shores of Africa in 1555, guess what some of the brothers and sisters of the African nations did? You mean my African brother? Some of the brothers and sisters of the African nation said, I'm going to sell you these people right here who are occupying my land. Oh, wow. These Israelites, brothers and sisters, I'm going to give you these people. Therefore, today, some of the uninformed white folks will sit up and tell you your own people sold you into slavery. No, brothers and sisters, these were not our people. These were people of African nations that we were occupying the land of. Us, Israelites, brothers and sisters. And so they sold us into slavery. But God allowed it to happen because of our disobedience. And when we were brought over to the Americas, the western part of the war, uh, world, some of us were dropped off in Haiti. Some of us were dropped off in Jamaica. Cuba. Some of us were dropped off in Cuba. Bahamas. Some of us were dropped off in the Bahamas. Some of us were dropped off in what's called America today, the United States of America. Some of us went to Europe. We went into all the nations of the earth, brothers like and sisters. Like the Lord had prophesied. He can't lie. So, brothers and sisters, mm. when we talk about the roots, the Bible version of the roots, when we talk about how the transatlantic slave trade directly connects to the real children of Israel today, brothers and sisters. Yes, yes. Not the people who are over in the land who we read about in the book of Obadiah, whose original name is Esau or Edomites. Not them, brothers and sisters. We're talking about the people that God just talked about in Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, that is scattered all over the earth, that when he comes... Get and see that we qualify to be back in his land that he's going to reach over here and he's going to reach over there and he's going to reach into this yes. nation and that nation and grab us wherever we are and gather us back together and bring us back into the land. Why didn't he say <laughs> that those people, my people, you're going to be in the land already when I come back? He didn't say that. He didn't say that. He says you're going to be scattered. So the people who are over there in that land today, what's going to happen to them, brothers and sisters? They got to go. Once he gather us together to bring us back into the land, Esau got to go. Edom got to go. go, brothers and sisters. So we wanted to bring you this lesson today. Yes. Roots, the Bible version, to show you roots are only a part of our history. 
but the beginning of our history mm. lies in this book called the Bible, brothers and sisters. We thank you for listening and tuning in for another edition of the Bible Show Truth Hour, Roots, the Bible Version. How the transatlantic slave trade directly yes. connects to the chosen people of God, Israel, brothers and sisters. Stay tuned next week for another edition. We come to you live every Tuesday at 7 o'clock p.m. Our motto on our show is, if you cannot read it, then do not believe it. And for more information on black history, go to www.theisraelofgod on your search engine and type in black history series. You will be amazed and educated. Brothers and sisters, we thank you for listening to tonight's show. We're going to go to our phone lines and see what the people on the line who are listening to tonight's show mm. thought about tonight's show. We're going to stay live as long as we can because we want you to hear what they're talking about who are called in to tonight's show also as well. Yes. We want you to hear it for yourself what they're talking about in Alaska about this show and the education that God is allowing us to bring to the people of Alaska. Yes. Stay tuned, brothers and sisters, but we're going to end our YouTube recording right now. Stay on now. the line. Peace and blessings. <laughs>